Okay, Scorpio. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your bonus reading. This will be for the month of January. And this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. This is general Scorpio. It will not resonate with all of you guys. Only take the message if it resonates with you. So let's see who or what is coming towards you guys for the month of January. Bonus reading. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, Scorpio. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you guys can do so on my website, fireintuition.com. All right, so let's see who or what is coming towards the sign of Scorpio. We have the Eight of Wands that came out. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is communication coming in. Let's see what we got. The Six of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Sun card. You guys could be dealing with a Leo. Three of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So it looks like Scorpio, you guys moved away from a situation. Something that had you blocked, feeling stuck. Some of you guys are dealing with two people with this two of swords, or you guys are dealing with someone and they were dealing with another person. And we got this page of pentacles here with this two of swords. So Someone's coming out of some type of um someone's coming out of some type of stalemate and about to make a decision. I saw this ace of pentacles is here. We have the three of wands. You moved away from a situation. This person's ships are coming in. Or this person is ready finally to offer to this relationship and wanting to compromise. They're ready to meet you halfway now. After putting it to the side or they put the relationship to the side, we have the sun card. So, like, communication is coming in. This is something that you've been manifesting with this eight of wands and the moon. I feel like this is a situation where you guys got in a relationship and things just kind of moved too fast with the eight of wands and the sun. Like, this person came in, made you really, really happy. And it's like things move too fast. And then it's like things kind of slowed down. You needed, you needed to move away from this situation. This person could have also left it like both of you guys just end up walking away because you have the three of wands and the six of swords. They turn their back on you or you turn your back on them with that three of wands being there. And this has been a struggle like it's been hard to get this relationship off the ground. But we have the sun here. So whatever happened in the past, everything's about to turn around for the positive. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. We have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Some of them are putting a relationship to the side, ending some type of commitment or relationship. Or after putting things to the side with you, ready to offer and commit. Could have been a Taurus you guys are dealing with. We have that Queen of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. We have the Four of Swords. And then we have the Two of Cups, King of Swords, Five of Swords. Yeah, someone's thinking clearly now. Someone was playing mind games. They did have someone else. Could have been an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. But that someone they dropped their swords, okay, and they're walking away from that. So there was two people. You guys are dealing with someone that was involved with someone else, and we have the two of cups. This is a soulmate connection. I feel like the other person they were dealing with was a soulmate too, and they were learning lessons in both relationships. Okay, so let's see, because we do have the six of wands. There's going to be a victory. There's going to be something that happens. You know, whether this be a new relationship that's coming in. Are you guys moving forward? That sun card can be there with that eight of wands because it's like now that you're out of this situation and the past is behind you, you know, and you weren't getting the answers you wanted and needed. That person wasn't open to you with that two of swords there. This is someone ignoring you, ignoring things, not telling you anything, not giving you answers, not expressing their feelings. It's like now this eight of wands and the sun is you guys manifesting something and something coming in. That's good news coming in. Messages coming in. You're getting everything you want now. The sun is there. You're happy. You're at peace. Clarity. Success in a relationship with that six of wands. Okay, so for some of you guys if that is someone new with that six of wands coming in This is like um 
like new love is coming in. Like you don't have long before new love is coming in. Okay, something flipped over. We have the chariot in reverse and we have the four of wands in reverse. Some of you guys are um, ending a situation with a cancer. You just felt stuck like nothing was happening. It wasn't moving. Four of wands in reverse, they weren't putting the effort in. You try to be patient with this person and it just wasn't happening. Okay, so let's see what we got. Why is the sun card here for the sign of Scorpio? Bonus reading for the month of January. Why is the sun card here for Scorpio? Bonus reading for the month of January. The Knight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, you guys met someone. You guys were excited. It could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But the Knight of Cups is in reverse. And you're seeing this person for who they really are. The Knight of Cups in reverse with the sun. You gain clarity on the situation. You realize that it's not going to be long term. Or that it's not long term. This person was, you know, exaggerating their love, their feelings for you. We had the Two of Swords. Yeah, this person stayed blocked emotionally. They weren't open to you. Eight of Wands. There was consistent communication back and forth, you know. But this person still... It's like they were open up they were opening up communication to pretty much get what they wanted, you know, or to keep this relationship going, but they weren't willing to give into the relationship the way you wanted to. Like if you were like, Okay, are we gonna take this to the next level? Are are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Like what are we? It's like they would ignore you, block you out, not tell you something. King of Cups, yeah, eight of pentacles. That person was already committed, that's why for some of you guys. That person was already committed. Or you guys did have a committed relationship. But there was something that needed to change. Five of Pentacles in reverse, but we have the Lover's card in reverse. Someone felt pressured and didn't want to fully commit to you the way that you wanted them to. Some of you guys were in a love triangle. Or for others of you, you were waiting for this person to divorce someone. Because we have the higher font, the Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords. You were ready for them to end the situation. So you moved away from this, you know, because it was just too much for you to handle. Because you wanted to be with this person. You wanted more out of this relationship. So, let's see. Why is the Three of Wands here for the sign of Scorpio? Clear by the Three of Wands. School of Fortune. Now things are destined and meant to be. For some of you guys, this is that person coming back. For others of you, this is someone new coming in. Three of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune. This is good energy. This is a soulmate connection. Seven of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys are getting out there. You're meeting people, dating people, meeting people online. But this is you focus on everything you want and you're going to get it. That will of fortune is there are three of wands. So you're going to, yeah, you're going to meet someone and your ships are going to come in with that person. Like things are going to be good with that person. This person is going to compromise. You guys are going to get along. There's going to be an equal give and take, you know, with that six of pentacles. That's probably why this ace of pentacles is here. Yeah, I see the six of swords. So you're moving on and something new is coming in with the six of swords. This is you recovering, letting go of the past, coming out of something difficult. Like I said, for some of you guys, you're not going to be single for much long, you know. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, you know, that kept lying and was cheating and telling you that they were coming out of something, Queen of Swords, you know, and you needed to use discernment, or this is you using discernment in this situation, walking away. Why is this Two of Swords here for Scorpio, the Hangman? Yeah, so this is you coming out like you. So you're coming out of the stalemate. You're coming out of some type of waiting period. The hangman. So this is you fully surrendering and letting go. Looking at the situation totally different with that two of swords, three of pentacles. You realize that they didn't want to work and build on this relationship the way you did. This is you putting plans in action, paying attention to the relationship, wanting more, and they weren't offering and giving. So you're coming out of some type of stalemate. Looking at things totally different. Something new is coming in for you guys. Why is this hangman here? Yeah, I see a new beginning of love. Okay. So a new beginning of love, we have to pay the pinnacles in reverse. Some of you guys, this person is realizing that they did lack effort. They weren't doing anything. You know, there was arguments. They're realizing that they're waking up to that. And this is them looking at things from another perspective, you know, and realizing that they walked away and made a mistake with the eight of cups in reverse. So this is them realizing they walked away and made a mistake, two of cups, you know, definitely wanting the connection back, wanting the relationship back for sure. I feel like you guys are undecided. You don't know if you're going to take them back or not. You don't want it. For some of you guys, you just don't. You're ready for something new. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Scorpio? Bonus reading for the month of January. The High Priestess. You guys could have a Pisces coming into your life, but if not, you're using your intuition. You're following your heart. You want love. You do want a new beginning in love, but you want it to be right. So this High Priestess is like, this is you being more wise, thinking, reflecting, you know, using your intuition before you fully go into this new beginning, okay? Because she has her crystal and she has her, her little journal. So you've been 
you've been writing your feelings, someone had you in your feelings, you know, someone really hurt you and this is you looking back on that. You're reflecting back. You're like, should I even do this? Is it worth it? Why is this high priestess here? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are just going to give up. Okay, you guys are just going to give up. This is divine timing. I feel like someone new is going to come in. For some of you guys, um, you're just not focused on long term with this person anymore. Yeah, I see Page of Swords. Some of you guys, it's just like they waited too long to communicate. And you're just, because they failed to communicate. They blocked you out or they just weren't giving in. Like, they just weren't saying anything. So, you're just not giving in to it anymore for some of you guys. So, you're coming out of something and going into something new. Yeah. Yep. And there will be victory in that. And, yeah, see, because we have the star, we have the six of wands. Definitely a new beginning. It could be with an Aquarius or a fire sign. Alrighty. So, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Bonus reading for the month of... January, if you guys want to book a personal reading, please go on my website, fireintuition.com. Bye, Scorpio.